What's up, everyone? Welcome back to an episode of Adventure in April. This is our new pop-up, Rockwood Freedom, the 2000. And we just got a new wench for it because uh, the wench was kind of messed up. So we're going to try to get that, try it out with the new wench. And then um, we have some stuff to still add to it. But here she is. Oh, and we also got a new vent for the top. Her first day. <laughs> anyway, the old wench, the guy kind of like manufactured it to where it would stay up. Like right now, we're not holding the handle. But when we bought it, the um, the handle wouldn't stay. So if you let go of it, it would just like come back down. And we got the string fixed, so. <laughs> oh, I see what you're talking about. You had a cut right here. Mm -hmm. Can you go around make sure there's nothing caught anywhere? got our set up again um everything's pretty much intact for the most part we didn't batten it down like really well because i mean we're just kind of like airing it out and finishing what we have left to do but we did try our propane lines out make sure there was no leaks this little outdoor stove works perfectly and um I just cleaned it up a little bit because there was some stuff still stuck on it and there still is but I mean it's camping so that is awesome it really it blows my mind <laughs> we got this trailer for $800 and you can't find these that cheap of course there was some things wrong with it but um nothing super major so that's good we're gonna spray paint this step right here so it doesn't look so rusty and then this is everything kind of in a nutshell I'll show more when we get um when we get somewhere and get it all set up like that pole's obviously not supposed to go like that but we're just kind of working in here real quick and then that's it so we had a little bit of an issue we got a new vent all of this is like from sun damage so it doesn't leak from the roof but um there was a leak because we just put this new vent here and we siliconed it and everything but somehow water got through and it leaked on the bed over there you can kind of see a little spot um right around that area right there so once all this dries back out, we're going to have to go back and try to re-silicone that up. As far as the canvas goes, this is the biggest issue right here. Um, we patched that little tear, so it's not, um, it's not too bad. It looks bad, but it's not. It's just from the sun damage because... I'm thinking at some point this was missing the lid. You can see up there there's a, a lid or, you know, a top that opens. That plastic part pops up. And I think at some point that was missing and the sun was just coming in and it cooked that, <laughs> damaged a little bit of the canvas. And then the other side of this bed actually has a little bit of damage too. But um, other than that, like... Everything is pristine in here. All the zippers work. There's no leaks. Door seals up good. Um, 
all the Velcro is still good. So like this Velcro is right here. And it's a 2000. So, I mean, it, it's 23 years old, you know. Um, we used to have a 1996. And that thing was hard. It was difficult because a lot of stuff was breaking. But all the plastic is really good. It's tinted. So when you're on the outside, you can't really see in even during the day, which is cool. All the cushions are in good condition. It's a little disarrayed, like I said, because we're, I have stuff everywhere. So once we go camping here in a couple weeks, I'm going to set everything up and do a video on that. This little compartment here, that's actually where this area is where we keep the stove that's here. So we literally just take it out, unfold it, um, and then we can just easily fit it in that compartment. This folds down and then everything, you know, goes together. But we have a little buddy heater. I like to use these rather than the heater in the, the actual trailer even though I'm sure it works perfectly, but I just um, would rather use one of those. <laughs> and then we have just some other stuff in there that we'll, we'll talk about later on in a different video. Kitchen is the little sink area is perfect. And that's the sink. Nice and shiny and good. And this folds upside down and it will go right here in this spot. So... Um, like I said, everything is good. I mean, these little wheel areas for the slide outs, they're perfectly clean. We didn't clean those when we got it. Everything's pretty much original, which I love because <laughs> you don't have to go through finding replacements or anything like that. Another thing when we got this pop up is the handle was old, rusty, wasn't closing. So I bought a new one of these on Amazon for like 10 bucks, um, new lock and everything. And it closes just so easy. Like our other pop-up trailer wasn't like that. So, um, the tires, when we got it, I mean, these are the same tires. They're okay. They're not like brand new or anything. We'll probably have to buy some new ones soon at some point. The more we drive it and travel with it all the velcro underneath here underneath the bunks perfectly good looks like we might need to tighten up some of these and then the velcro here you know you just seal it up that way and super easy that's our new wench system you can't really see the inside but it's brand new we just put that on the wood underneath is great canvas on the outside is like awesome over here you got your little vents and stuff for that's the refrigerator water input if you want to hook up to water at an rv park that's for where the sink drains out of and then that's your heater vent and hot water heater i think it has a hot water heater too this is where you can fill up your actual water tank. There's a tank inside. And then this is your electrical plug in. So these are kind of, these always get like dry rotted like this. Um, these are pretty cheap on Amazon too, because you can see like the little gasket is kind of chewed up. I mean, we're in Arizona, so the heat just really eats this stuff up. There's our plug outlet there. This is the back. It came with a spare tire, which is great. Same thing with the back bunk. Everything looks really good on it. And um, this rack, we're thinking about adding that to the back so we have a place to store like our ice chest and stuff. But other than that, like the wood's in great condition. It pulls out easy came with a spare so one of the main reasons why this dude sold it super cheap is because he said the wiring was chewed up by his dogs or by a dog <laughs> and it turns out it wasn't really the wiring that was chewed up was to some lights that were hooked up right here 
he had like extra lights and the wires were hanging down. It had nothing to do with like the main lights. So we hooked all of these up and they all work, I think except for maybe one or two of them. But the main like brake lights work. So <laughs> crazy. Not a bad little setup for 800 bucks. And then when you add in our vent that we added and um, the wench, probably maybe a little close to a thousand dollars. So what do you think of it, babe? That's good. You like it better than the Jayco? Oh yeah. All right, one other step is to try out the canopy that came with it. Um, it looks brand new, dude. It's completely white. Wow, and it has the like metal aluminum stuff. Shut up. Does it just like yeah. fold out like legs, yeah, bro? It does. Oh my gosh, hold on, I'll help you. <laughs> okay. You want me to pull it down? Yeah, this do the one oh. button. The button. Yep. No. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, it's stuck. Ugh. Here, I'll switch you. You don't have to hold that happy. I know. Oh man, oh, here's my gut, y'all. Oh, hurt. pull it out. What do you mean? Like this way. No. Things are coming down. I don't know. Oh, I think they're the sides, brother. They are. What? Oh, these are the sides. Stupid. Oh, what? Shut up. Those are the sides? I don't know. I guess. Yeah, it. these ones are the sides. Yes. And you know what? They probably hook into the eye thing right here. Where the clamp is supposed to go. Maybe. No. It seems like that might be it. Ay! I think it goes this way. These are, are the feet. Right. Let's get the feet done first. Does yours have a foot? Maybe. Yours does, clearly. Oh, yours come out. It comes out. It's upside down, brother. It is? I think so. Yeah, this whole thing is it's supposed to be flip flop. See this whole top part that you put in? Upside you down. need to bring it that way and then it will work. Okay. Mike and his dyslexia. We'll be right back. I can't believe it. Are you okay? That thing hit you in the face. No, my nose looks all right. It hit you in the nose? Right here. Oh, there's a little mark. Damn. Dude, we. Oh, so we just set up the awning that we uh, had. It's pretty brand new, actually. It looked like it was never even used. It's the Carefree of Colorado. Pretty simple setup, just little uh, aluminum bars. And then you just push these two aluminum bars right up against it through these little hole things. Pretty simple. It's in really good condition. Like, really good. 
Yeah, so there's just like two separate legs, the one that comes down and then the one that goes over there. And then it has little fabric loops to hold it in there. What I like is it's all connected. So when we roll it up, you just roll everything together. Yeah. And it zips up, perfect. Let's step back and I'll show you everything. I love it because it matches the pop-up and everything. <laughs> it looks so cute. And then when we have the little stove under there, it's just going to be our own little setup. 